Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. I had to make a quick run to Walmart. I didn't buy a bunch of stuff, but I found some pretty good deals and I wanted to share them with you all. So I'm going to start over here with the non-food items. I have been wanting one of these for my two and a half year old for a while. It's called Kitchen Buddy. Basically, it's a, I'm showing you the picture right here. It's so that he can kind of help out in the kitchen safely. And um, it's a two in one. So there is the um, little step up with the bar. And then when he gets a little bit older, as you can see, it converts to just a step. And I thought that was pretty cute. And it was $44. And then I needed some um, Tylenol PM or the generic Tylenol PM. I went into their little dollar spot. They have a dollar spot that's similar to the one in Target. And I found these cute kitchen labels. They had these, which are a larger size. And then they also had some smaller ones and they were three cents each. They were actually on clearance for 10 cents. And then once they rang up, they were three cents. And I thought it was pretty cute. All of these little labels, breakfast, yogurt, flour, oil, olive oil, eggs, nuts, you name it. I thought it was so cute. Could not pass it up. I also grabbed this little food cutter set and it was on clearance for 50 cents. Um, Harrison is a really picky eater, but I thought if I were to cut up his food into little shapes, um, maybe that would be more interesting to him. So it looks like a little pineapple and then um, there's stars, hearts, little, just different designs. And I thought they were really cute. So again, they were 50 cents. I saw this cute little spoon rest um, and it was on sale. I think it was a dollar 50. And then I went into their Christmas section. To me, I love Christmas. I don't care. I know some people think it's too early, but I saw this, it's a mini tree collar and I have a little mini um, like countertop Christmas tree that I'm gonna put in the kitchen and I think this will work with it. So I grabbed that, it was $6.98. And then I also saw this and I couldn't pass it up, um, $7.88 and this is what it looks like set up. I thought it was pretty cute too. And then they had these light bulbs on clearance as well. They were $9.97 originally, and I got them for 98 cents. I got two packages of them. Um, I really like this jerk shrimp. And normally, I've never seen this at Walmart. I normally get it from Kroger, places like that, and it's twice as much. But these were, I think it was five something that I grabbed the shrimp for, um, and then I grabbed their butter croissants. I have bought them before. Normally I get my butter croissants from um, Trader Joe's and I think the Trader Joe's you get eight, um, but I'm not gonna go to Trader Joe's anytime soon, probably for not another month or so. So I just grabbed these and I think they were $4. And then I really like this um, ice cream, this um, Alados Mexico ice cream. And it is the, like it's a like butter pecan flavor and it's really good. And then I grabbed Howard a couple of Fuji apples. I needed a red onion. I also grabbed Howard this uh, sweetened condensed milk. Um, he really likes it in this little squeeze pouch. He uses it for his coffee and it's a lot easier than having to wrangle with a can of sweetened condensed milk. Grab some strawberries and then I needed some parsley for a recipe. Needed some broccoli just to have for dinners. Grabbed one box of the Motor City Pizza. I think it's actually a little cheaper than it has been. It was $7.44. And then I grabbed some chopped onions. Um, they're frozen. I just like to have those on hand in case I don't have fresh. And then I also saw this street corn trail mix, which I have not seen before. And I love trail mix. It was five something. And I like it because it doesn't have those um, sesame sticks. I am not a big fan of sesame sticks. And you hardly ever seen ever see savory trail mix without it. So grab that. Looks pretty good to me. This is something that I've not seen before. Sparkling peach cider, Martinelli. So I grabbed that. I grabbed some pear juice for my toddler. And then I just grabbed a couple of cans of green beans. And then I grabbed three cans of these small red beans. There is a recipe that I am going to be trying out. 
So this is everything that I picked up on my quick fill-in haul. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly love to have you. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.